Hello and welcome to this learning video. In this learning video, we are going to take one more problem on the topic isoparametric problem. So let us see what this problem says. So this problem says find the extremal of the function of this subject to the condition. Okay. And these conditions are given to which would be helpful in finding out the arbitrary constant. Okay. So whenever you have a problem like this, now you are smart enough to start the solution of this problem. So let us start with the functional. Let small f is equal to y square minus y dash square minus 2y sine 2x and g is equal to just y. Okay, so construct a functional construct a functional construct a functional say j is equal to integration 0 to pi by 2 f of x y y dash dx where where f is equal to f plus lambda g here lambda is Lagrange multiplier this is Lagrange multiplier okay now once you get this just try to find out its derivative that is f is equal to first of all write it as uh, f is equal to y square minus y dash square minus 2y sine 2x plus lambda times y. Now let us find out first of all the derivative with respect to y. So what is its derivative with respect to y? 2y minus 0 minus 2 sine 2x plus lambda. And what is del f by del y dash? So del f by del y dash is 2y dash. Simple? 2y dash. Correct. Now the Euler's equations Euler's equation for Euler's equation for f is what is it? Del f by del y minus d d x of del f by del y dash is equal to 0. Now you have all these values you just need to substitute here. So this is uh, 2y minus 2 sin 2x minus 2 sin 2x plus lambda minus d d x of 2y dash is equal to 0. Now try to solve this. After solving this, so after solving this, you'll be getting it to be divide by 2 throughout. So you'll be getting y minus sin 2x plus lambda by 2 minus minus this is again minus so plus 2y double dash is equal to 0 okay now this uh, take all the terms this 2 will get cancelled with the 2 because we have divided throughout by 2 now just collect the like terms. So I am taking the uh, terms of y on the one side. This y double dash stands for d2y minus y is equal to sine 2x minus lambda by 2. Here d stands for derivative with respect to x. Okay. Now once you get this, you can say this is to be equation say 1. Okay. So this equation 1 is nothing but the higher order ordinary differential equations with constant coefficient. And for this constant coefficient, what we have to do? We have to find out CF and as you can see there is this uh, right hand side. So we have to find out the PI also. Okay. So to find out CF, write down its auxiliary equation. So what is its auxiliary equation? Its auxiliary equation is, what is that? m square minus 1 is equal to 0 okay you can just like uh, d2 you can write like d2 minus 1 operating on y okay next so this gives m square is equal to 
this is plus this is plus y square plus y this is plus so this is minus 1 therefore m is equal to plus minus r now as you can see the roots are uh, complex so according to that we have to write down its complementary function so what is cf cf is e to the power 0x a cos x plus b sin x okay if you are not able to get this let me write this one as uh, what it is uh, e to the power 0x then a cos x plus b sin x okay now because you have to read it as m is equal to 0 plus minus 1i so e to the power this 0 and coefficient of x here is 1 okay so this is my cf if you want i can write it properly like a cos x plus b sin x right so this is my cf now after cf my objective is to get pr okay so let me write down now pi pi is equal to 1 upon what is it yeah this is d square plus 1 into what is it sine 2x minus lambda by 2 okay now you just have to uh, separate this so this is 1 upon d square plus 1 into sine 2x minus 1 upon d square plus 1 into lambda by 2 into 1 okay now uh, pause the video for a few seconds and try to recollect this is a problem pi which rule we are going to apply here and which rule we are going to apply so just pause the video think over it and then resume the video so i hope you might have uh, you might have uh, thought of this is a problem where case number two will be applicable and here case 1 would be applicable why because this one can be written as e to the power 0 e to the power 0 so here in the first i will put d square is equal to minus of 2 square that is minus 4 and here i will put d is equal to 0 so what we will be getting we will be getting pi is equal to d square minus 4 plus 1 minus 3 so this is minus 1 by 3 sine 2x minus put d square equal to 0 so d is equal to 0 0 square is 0 plus 1 is 1 then lambda by 2 as it is e to the power 0 is 1 so this is just lambda by 2 this is my pi now after getting cf and pi my objective is to write down the solution of this equation 1 in terms of uh, cf plus pi y is equal to cf plus pi so therefore solution of 1 is y is equal to cf plus pi that is y is equal to what is cf this a cos x plus b sin x okay and what is my pi this minus 1 by 3 sin 2x minus lambda by 2 okay now i will be giving this to be my equation number 2 okay now my objective is to find out the values of the constants a and b and also the value of the lagrange multiplier okay so we are given that what is given we are given that y of 0 is equal to 0 and y of pi by 2 is equal to 0 here okay so y of 0 is equal to 0 then then equation 2 implies what does it imply 0 is equal to a into cos 0 plus 
b into sin 0 minus 1 by 3 sin 0 minus lambda by 2. So this is 0, this is 0, cos 0 is 1. So we have a is equal to this take it to the left. So this is pi by 2, or sorry, lambda by 2. So a is equal to lambda by 2. Simple? Now likewise, you can apply this second uh, condition y of pi by 2 is equal to 0 then then 2 implies what does it imply y 0 a cos pi by 2 plus b sine pi by 2 right minus 1 by 3 sine pi 2 to get cancelled minus lambda by 2 now as you can see here cos pi by 2 0 sine pi 0 sine pi by 2 1 so here also we are getting lambda is e, um, b is equal to lambda by 2 now substitute these values in equation 2 so equation 2 becomes so what does equation 2 will give it will gives you y is equal to what was that a a is this lambda by 2 cos x plus lambda by 2 sin x minus 1 by 3 sin 2x minus lambda by 2 okay this is my y now the only thing I need to do is that I have to find out the Lagrange multiplier and put it in this equation so they say this is to be equation number 3 now to get the value of the Lagrange multiplier what I need to do I need to make use of this isoperimetric constraint right so now we are we have integration 0 to pi by 2 y dx is equal to 2 by 3 this implies integration 0 to pi by 2 what is that lambda cos pi by 2 sorry cos x lambda by 2 cos x plus lambda by 2 sin x next minus 1 by 3 sin 2x minus lambda by 2 dx right dx is equal to 2 by 3 simple so what I have done just put this box and put it here okay now lambda by 2 integration of cos is minus sin x 0 to pi by 2 plus lambda by 2 into sin integration of sin sorry this is integration integration of cos is sin integration of sin is minus cos 0 to pi by 2 minus 1 by 3 integration of sin is minus cos so this become plus cos 2x by 2 minus lambda by 2 x okay here also 0 to pi by 2 here also 0 to pi by 2 and here it is equal to 2 by 3 simple now substitute so this is lambda by 2 sin pi by 2 is 1 minus 0 plus lambda by 2 this is uh, say this is minus outside cos pi by 2 is 0 sin uh, cos 0 is 1 this is plus 1 by 6 cos uh, pi cos pi is minus 1 sin pi is minus uh, cos 0 is minus 1 cos 0 is 1 this is minus minus lambda by 2 this is pi by 2 is minus 0 is equal to 2 by 3 okay now now as you can see this is minus minus plus this is lambda by 2 lambda by 2 so this is just lambda minus 1 by 3 minus lambda pi by 4 is equal to 2 by 3 okay now you can take this minus 1 by 3 to the right so you'll be getting lambda and taking lambda common from this so this is 1 minus pi by 4 1 minus pi by 4 lambda common is equal to 2 by 3 plus 1 by 3 so this 2 by 3 1 by 3 is 1 okay so we will be getting 4 pi 4 minus pi by 4 
lambda into 4 minus pi by 4 is equal to 1, right? 3 by 3, 1. Or you can write this lambda to be, this lambda to be, I'm writing here. I'm writing here, this lambda is equal to, what is it? 4 upon 4 minus pi. Okay, 4 upon 4 minus pi. So, equation, equation 3 becomes y is equal to, this is, uh, this is 4 upon 4 minus pi, right? And here it is 2. This is also 4 upon 4 minus pi into 1 by 2 sin x minus 1 by 3 sin 2x and this is also 4 upon 4 minus pi into 1 by 2 so this 2 get cancelled with this and you can take this entire term to be common that is y is equal to what I should take common here 2 upon 2 upon 4 minus pi so I remain with this is common I am taking this common from first second and this term okay so this is cos x plus sin x minus 1 and the remaining term this minus 1 by 3 sin 2x okay this is the required extremal for the given functional subjected to the condition integral 0 to pi by 2 y dx is equal to 2 by 3 and that satisfies this condition okay so i hope this problem is clear to you so thank you for watching this learning video and have a good day thank you